Yeah. I think hope you are all able to see my screen. Okay. So today we will start with a new topic called service station retailing. As the name suggests, service station retailing means the gas station part. Okay. So gas stations where we go and uh, take our fuels, how to take the data. That is service station retailing. Now, what is the part SAP is handling in the service stations? Okay. And what is the importance? What is the work that is being done by service station? So service station means what? A gas station. The gas station is nothing but petrol bunks. So what are all the activities are happening there? Sales of fuel. Maintain stock. Services. Air check. and uh, fast food operation grocery store these things are part of service stations now SAP, what it is interested in that is, with the service station, in SAP, we need details of their sales, their stock. all these details we need. So what we need to do actually interface interface custom interface need to be built up on this data need to be transferred to SSR module. And what is the use of that? Generating various reports. This is the basic objective of service and retail, retailing in SAP. So we go gas stations, we go SAP. I was asking that we are representing cell, SHE, cell oil company. Cell is having various gas stations. And from the gas station they may need the reports of sales, stock, etc and those details are being taken care by SSR model. The ultimate use of that SSR is to get some information data report on that. Now 
Now, is it practically used? So very less usage. I, I hardly come across a couple of implementations which is using SSR module. Why? Because what is the ultimate objective of SSR module? To get some data from the petrol bank. They need it and get it. That is the ultimate objective. But uh, as I told you earlier, similar to MRN, here also oil companies they use some sophisticated reporting tools like SAP BW. So what they do, you know, gas station sending data to SAP SSR, gas station send their data directly to BW. SAP BW. SAP BW already an information warehouse repository. It is going so much of data on that. In addition to that, when this one also goes there, the top management can be able to do multi-dimensional analysis. Okay. So all the reports they are getting at one place that is convenient for them. Okay. So somewhere the SAP the gas station need to send the data, so they are sending to that place. Generally. So this is what happens in your practical situation. Okay. So this is the background for SSR service station retailing model. Okay. Any doubts on this concept so far? So accordingly, uh, you can uh, what do you say give less importance to this topic also from the entry perspective. But you need to know what it is, what is the concept, what are the basic things but need not go too much in detail. Yeah. These three topics, MR and VDRP SSR, you can give less importance totally. Other topics you can concentrate TDP, TD, HPM, MAP, TSW and all. Okay, I will go ahead. Seems there is no doubt. In SSR, the, if it is implemented, what are the details it is expecting from gas stations, stock availability, sales, sales, how much happened by way of cash, how much happened by way of credit card, how much happened by way of credit card, how much happened by way of debit card. I think we are all came across cash, credit card, credit card and all. Anybody knows who is the plate, what is the plate card? Red card, debit card you may be knowing. Plate card is a kind of card issued by the oil companies. To whom it is issued? Not to the general public. This card is issued by the oil companies to the transport companies. Transport companies who are having 50 trucks, 100 trucks. 200 trucks like that. Okay. So there is some arrangement between the transport owners and then oil companies. Oil companies give some flexibility to this transport organization. In turn, the transport organization takes fuel from the petrol bunks of the particular oil company. And the, this trucking is being done by that cart that is called a fleet cart. Then what is the receipt? Receipt means stock receipts. Then card reconciliation, price, price details. Of course, we need to send the price details of the
price details, what the petrol bunk should do to the petrol bunks. So these details need to come from gas station to the HAP. So either it comes to SSR module or it comes there, it goes to BW. These details are needed. Yeah. Uh, system. What are the settings are? Yeah. So before going there, in retailing what are we do selling fuel selling groceries, mechanic, air pressure. Okay. So what are the configuration needed? Retail type, service configuration. Okay. I will show this. I will open the SAP window for this. Where I can show all these things. Configuring retail types. Where do I configure that? Even? Yes, yes. So, I'm going uh, through so this. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I keep hearing uh, in Implico uh, as a company for um, uh, for uh, uh, service station retailing. So, yes, yes. So, um, what is the role? Like, uh, what does the company do? And is is there uh, are those people SAP partners? No, no, it is not like that. What you are telling is correct. See, if you go to the gas station, okay, I think. in gas station, you are getting fuels and all those things, right? You are seeing some meters and all those things already running. Mm -hmm. So that means background there is a system already in the gas station. It is not SAP, right? So the data is being taken care by the gas station. For that, uh, it is called gas station automation. Various softwares are available. As I told yesterday, Honeywell is also having that software. Implico is having that software. So many other uh, vendors are there who are doing gas station automation in various countries. Okay. So those countries, those people, they are capturing that data in that system. So if you are using SSR, in that case, you go to build an interface from that system to SSR. Or if you are using VW, then you go to build an interface from that system to this system. What you are telling is right. Okay. So that system used to buy the gas stations for the automation purpose. So, so that means the data is already there in the system. So we need to just take it from that system. And SAP is not used in the gas station. That is for sure. SAP is used only in the oil companies. Like say BP. These places they use. Not even in their gas station culture, they are not using. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. So gas station, their software is simply go in your case. Yeah. Okay. So in your case, we go to build an interface from Implico to SAP to get the data. That's it. So configuring retail types. How to configure the retail types? See retail types, generally what is the retail outlet types? Fuel sales. Okay. If you are having lubricant separate outlet, then you can go lubricant sales. Nowadays for LPG they go separate outlet. So you can go LPG, LPG or the auto gas uh, as a retail type. Not the possible thing you can put, but generally and the most frequently is this fuels, that's it. 
blue brigand and I can say one more thing I will create that is automatic LPG then what is the next configuration services so what are the services available in the gas station you can maintain here filling air, vending machine service, car wash, fast food, glass cleaning, pollution check, grocery store all the services can be maintained with your service types What is the next configuration? Linking services to retail types. Which retail types can go? Which services type? For example, viewers can go car wash, departmental stores, renewing, insurance, all those things. then configure card card payments payment card handling people take the fuels using cards credit card debit card and all those things or credit card that information can be configured here payment card, details, credit card, debit card, fleet card payment card size Dynas, Visa, Master, other things so these are all known to you what is the payment card, payment card types and all then assign payment card to the company code which company code is using which are the card types for example we take our company code GIL it is using Amex card Diners, Fleet, Mastercard, Visa all those things Amex everything So the then next step in SSR is location. The gas stations need to be captured as locations. That is what we did in O401 transaction in MRN. The same thing need to be repeated again in SSR. Go to the logistics, sales and distribution, location management master data location 0401 gas station 112 token carrier gas station what is this location type it is dealer 1 dealer operator gas station STDD I think I can do business type also. Yeah. Yeah. STDD Business type QLs yeah. Okay, it's not accepting. Okay. 
Now, dash dash in one one two. I'm creating a gas station. The other details, whatever you know, you can go. If you don't know something, you can leave them. This gas station belongs to GI Company Four. The status of the gas station is initial. Rolls. Radiation group. SSR radiation group. X. Control data. I created a gas station. Now this gas station, GAS T one 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 two. It can be extended to various business types also. For example, fuels. We can extend that. There we can do some information specific to fuel business. So if you want, you can do. Otherwise, you can leave it. Okay. Do that. This gas station has been created for fuels business now. Okay. Capture the transaction details of gas station into SAP. Okay, now let's report. What are the transaction details needed? Sales details, location details, payment card transaction details, payment card invoicing, payment card settling, location partner reports. We go to service station retailing. Material is also clearing house. What is a clearing house? Clearing house is the place where your car payments are settled. You are taking this car. Diners, master card, all those cards, right? You mean the gas station or petrol bank? How they get their payment? Finally, they need to get the money there, their account, right? When you are going and uh, filling the fuel, you are just uh, swiping the card and uh, filling the fuel. Then how they get the money? They get the money from the clearing houses. Generally, each of these uh, card agencies they got their own clearing houses. That clearing house we can maintain it there. Okay. And the clearing houses are generally customers because we need to take money from them. So we will be debiting them, invoicing them. So that is why they are called clearing houses. So already some clearing houses are there. For example, for Visa Card, Visa G, they have got their details. Okay, you can do the sort to like this customer. This clearing house is represented by this customer, GR hyphen Visa. This customer. Location. We just now created the location. 
the gas stations can be created or generally being created as locations. Summer vendor, you know. Network manager assignments. Country PE. So here we have given created two regions. Here only they have created two regions. Two users they have assigned. Means their area managers. These are our master data. Then pricing. In pricing, master data, they create some reports. How do they get the reports? How do they generate the reports? Okay. We send the information to the, all, all it happens by way of interface. We send the price information to our gas stations. We represent the sale company. Gas station in turn, gas station are the sales, sales, field sales people. In turn, what they will do? They will go to particular gas station. Whatever is the nearest uh, competitor gas station, they will go there also and to find out what is their price. So, we will compare our price with the competitor. Do analysis. That is competitive difference. That is a report. Then we go one more report, cluster difference. What is cluster difference means? Within our, this one, within our area, within our gas stations, we can go various clusters. Clusters nothing but geographic areas. Okay. So, we go Houston, Texas. In Houston city, what is the price? Texas, what is the price? So, how to analyze the cluster differences in pricing? Those reports are being taken by the cluster differences. Okay. So, these are all basically reports for this. Okay. The competitor information we can do here so that we can generate the report. Okay. The competitor will be captured as again in the master data. Which master data? Customer master data. It is separate account group. Your information system for pricing contains various other reports like price check result, list differences, network prices at a special time, network average prices. Network average means your entire retail network, which is the system will take into account. Okay. So for example, this one will list the differences. So far we will not run this transaction. Okay. So as far pricing is concerned, what you need to remember is we we mean sale company sends the price details to the petrol banks. What is the price? Their price or selling their price. And they capture that information, display in their board. That is what you are seeing when you are going to the gas station. Now that dealer or generally the field people of sell oil company, they visit the they are in the field, right? They go to the nearest gas stations, competitive gas station. They take the information and give back to SAP. Even this is being taken care by uh, SAP SSR for analyzing the pricing. Okay. The next is payment part. What is payment card transaction record? When we are going to gas station or service station, we save the card and we take the fuel. That each swipe is a transaction as far as system is concerned. Okay. Each swipe it will capture as a transaction record. That as I told you, those states will already be available in the other system used by the gas stations. Like Prasant told, Maybe something similar to Implico, or they are using Honeywell everything. 
but we have to take that information via interface and if you want you can replicate in the replicate here okay. that replication can be done using this transaction code this transaction code is very big so we can't remember that so what I suggest is all these SSR transactions are basically reports and uh, sort of things so you need to go through this menu path only until you become familiar with the computer see what is the location what is the data of say okay. payment card type maybe visa card payment card number ok that's what uh, a number should happen ok you need to enter your right number yeah and then create the record what they got taken quantity everything can be created here so uh, where is the where is the amount here that's what amount we need to go inside we need to find out the right uh, payment card number to go inside okay. we are giving the payment card a type right Okay, this I is not accepted at the cash station tool. Okay. Give on that. Okay. STDD, what, is, what they are accepting, we need to find out. For business location, STDD. Go to configuration. downstream SSR card payment card type to the company code Our GIA visa is there. Visa is there. Right. Amex is also there. Next yeah. location. Type. STDD. SSR and MRN ok <coughs> ok I will check up it is not taking but if you, when you go inside, you can enter amount and all those in all, all those details. So probably it's in a master data. Yeah. Uh, 0401. No, no. And then check out. Yes. No, no, this is not here.
Okay, I'll check it up. In the master data, it is not there. So there. The option is Visa payment card type. So, so, so here uh, when you are, uh, when you are, uh, when you are uh, capturing the credit card details, you don't need to enter the sales order or anything. Straight away you go and. Uh, we are supposed to enter the bill details. Bill generated by the petrol pump. That's it. And uh, is it the same as the? Uh, is it the same transaction? Uh, o3 uh, red of zero one. Yeah, yeah, same transaction. Okay. Can I call? Okay. Yes, missing that. Then the clearing of settlement uh, transaction is uh, in case uh, uh, you are. You are supposed to invoice the clearing house, right? <laughs> okay. The clearing house, for example, Visa, you are having a clearing house. Okay. So, for him, you are supposed to send the invoice based on your transaction records, but now we have not yet created any record. So I don't think any results will come, but uh, if there are some records, this will generate it. Yeah, that's what no records are there. Okay. So this will generate a report how much amount they got to pay. This clearing goes. Okay. And then you take the report, you do reconciliation, manual reconciliation. Okay. Call. And then here you generate the reports for payment card processing daily, monthly and all. Okay. We create the reports like this. Then we go to claim. Okay. Now claim with the whom? If they were clearing house. How do you claim that? Using invoicing. Send an invoice to them. Create invoices. Okay. And the create invoices is not only used for your clearing house, it is used for your other purpose also. What is the other purpose? Creating invoice. You see, suppose in your gas station, you were rent out, uh, rented out some space to McDonald's. Like that, some fast food uh, agency. Okay. So they also need to be invoiced, right? So all those things are being handled by this transaction. Okay. Today there, there is no transaction. Okay, that's all. It's not appearing. If there is a record, it will appear. These things, the payment card, it's a payment. Are we supposed to do that in SAP? 
we mean suppose we are implementing the cell are we going to do that generally no because there are some hundred outlets per cell hardly 10 outlets are one to buy cell balance 90 percent it is one to buy dealer they will send the invoice everything periodic claim post for this one okay. one then why these topics are there they say thing this topic is their payment cost because even if you go one or two outlets, I company is responsible for sending that payment card issues to the Visa or Diner or Amex card companies. Okay. That's why it is there. So ninety percentage of the as I told, SSR implementation itself is very less. Even if it is used, the payment hand handling is very less. Okay. Because the gas station generally the petrol bank owners, they take care of all these activities. And are they implemented SAP? No. They go their own systems. Like Prasant told, Implico or Honeywell, something they go. So, then, what is the we are doing in the SSR. SSR, if at all if it is implemented, okay. what we do is we are more interested in capturing the details, capturing the reports. Now, payment card transaction, what we do, we generally create that uh, records, that's it. Payment card transaction record. This is the only thing we do for most of the retail outlets. So that we are having that information here. Okay. So this is the practical application of practical application of the payment cards with respect to SAP system. Okay. When we create these details, then either using BWR this one SAP itself, we create the reports here, payment card reports. Okay. So, after from payment cards, what is the other thing is the interfaces. Interface is there for to send the prices. Okay. Now, I will summarize what is this. As far as SSR is used very less, even if it is used there, with SAP, what are all the usage? Capturing transactions. With the transactions, generally the payment card and all those things. Okay. sales, stock, all those things. And then interface. <laughs> then generating reports. These three are the main usage of SSR if it is implemented. All the other things are taken care by the gas stations themselves. But now, even this one, as I told you earlier, instead of sending the details by interface to SSR, generally the gas station sent through SAP BW system. There they take care of these things because it is a one-stop place for all the reports in SAP for the top management wherever SAP is implemented. So this interface, uh, yeah, the, the interface is uh, 
it, uh, is, uh, is from uh, the, the SAP to uh, well, from what to what? Yeah, you go now in click code, now in click code to the oh, SAP. Okay. Implico no. is the one like what is it? I think. No. Is it Implico to SSR or SSR to Implico? Both way. Why both way? I will tell you. This is a gas station, cell gas station. Suppose we are representing cell, we are working in cell oil company. CCP system. Now this is one of our gas station owned by some dealer. Okay. So this dealer will be using you see in this gas station some system already he will be using either Implico or Honeywell something he will be using right. There all the details will be captured. What is the sales, what is stock, everything. Okay. What we need to do is we need to build one interface to take that details and the take to our system. Our system we can take into SSR, but practically as I told you SSR is not used. We use BW. So we are taking the details from them. Also we need to give some detail to that system. What details we need to give? price. This gas station, they, they, they sell the product, the price we need to send. Though they send the complete information, everything to us, we need to give them the, the price. Okay. So both their interface need to be built. From gas station to our SAP, from SAP to the gas station, and the gas station uses their own software, not the SAP generally. Clear so far? Prasan, are you okay now? Yeah. Sailendra, are you okay so far? Yes. Smita? Okay, I think she is busy. Okay. So, This is the SAP usage, SSR usage. In case SSR is implemented, what are the things we need to do in the system? The basic things, basic for the basic implementation I am telling. Launching. SSR. In the basic settings, you need to define detail network business type, service type, assigning service types to the business type, location master data, business types. Process ID we don't use, process control. This also we don't use. Fuels processing, the pricing details for price fuels processing and payment card handling, current payment card category type, assigning this one to the company code, clearing house, clearing house object etc. Payment card upload. Settlement and invoicing, these which are the, what is the invoicing method to invoice the clearing house. 
some reporting aspects. These configurations needed. Then the master data set. Clearing house we need to create. Location we need to create and maintain. Partner customer vendor we already be there. If you want to, you can use them. Okay. For example, if you want to use the customer, it's the zero two. Nothing is maintained for us, sir. These things as part of master data and pricing. As far pricing is two things. One is we need to send the price via interface to the gas station. Second is they send the complete details and we do the analysis. Then capturing payment card transactions. And then, if it is our petrol bank, we do the periodic claims to the collection agent and the other location partners like Kisagar, uh, all those things. Okay. These are the activities we are happening. But as I told, this is if you implement. There is the information, all this information goes directly to the uh, SAP BW. There they take the details. In case the information goes to SAP BW, we don't need to do anything. Only arrange the configuration part. Whatever I go on you, the business type and all those things. Okay, location, everything. Everything will be taken care by the BW. The reporting part. Okay. So practically the reporting part is being taken care by BW only. Okay. That is the situation. So any doubts, any issues so far, you can ask me. So as I told uh, earlier, you can just go through the documentation and other things available for SSR. So uh, have an idea about the SSR. And the next topic is important. Next we are going to deal with uh, TSW, Traders and Schedulers Workbench. Okay. So, um, uh, Morgan. Yeah. Uh, that, can you send the TSW materials? Yes, yes, sure. Yeah, so if you can send it today, uh, it will be helpful. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah. I'll send it immediately after this session. Okay. So, okay. Okay, if there is uh, no doubts, I will log up today and we will meet again tomorrow, same time.